just now everyone's getting their tickets sorted here at the ticket booth we're starting to get people coming in as you can see the line is starting to get really big um, I've already checked in as a staff member got my stamp which is pretty cool um, so yeah let's go check out some of the venue what's happening some of the activities So over here is the stage where they're going to have the workshops going, um, talking about different subjects, different topics, interactivity, so people can interact uh, and learn a bit more through the workshops. In the other room, the theatre that we were in, pretty much are going to be for lectures and things like that. So they've really got it together here in Brisbane towards giving everyone a variety of knowledge and activities to go and do, to learn, just take on board some of the um, direction towards a resource-based economic model. So over here you've got questions for Peter Joseph, put your questions here, chuck them in here, there's a couple in there, uh, cool. Celebration, an integral part of avoiding burnout for any activist. The Zeitgeist Movement is a global sustainability activist movement presented in the case for the needed transition out of our current unsustainable economic model and into a new sustainable socio-economic paradigm based on using the best that science and technology have to offer to maximize human, animal and environmental well-being in accordance with the natural world. Pathological liar. Do you find yourself lying to get out of things or into things on a regular basis? Again, be honest, and I know if you're a psychopath, you already are, because you don't care what people think. And in fact, you think, yeah, man, I'm awesome at that. I just have one small question for you. What if you're a shitty accountant? Alone, exploring, and once my mind reaches a mystery state, of which I'm still yet to summon at will, music falls out. Now, it's always melody first. Uh, which I perceive as emotion in a universal language. Religion and spirituality, there's kind of two approaches to it. There's the esoteric approach and the exoteric approach. So the esoteric looks within, it's about experience, it's your, your own personal experience, and this esoteric or exoteric, sorry, is, is more about the, uh, the external. These things need to be working together, so that's why we really care about these subjects. They are also catalysts for change when they work together. They are syner synergetic with each other. So basically guys we've had like a full on day full of talks, lectures, presentations, uh, it's gone very well, we're now having a bit of a break and getting some energy into us, uh, we've got some more speakers coming up, Federico Pistano, uh, he's going to be talking about uh, technological unemployment and robotics and uh, automation, uh, we've got a few other speakers, one of the uh, global chapter coordinators, Gilbert's going to be speaking and then uh, we're going to also have a uh, question and answer panel, some dinner, and then tonight we've got a few events going on. We've got some uh, performances to do with C-Day, so it's pretty full on, guys, but at the moment everyone's getting something to eat. Okay, the insight of my talk was actually that I tried to explain what the Zeitgeist movement is all about, but since I didn't have that much time, I needed to co concentrate myself on, core, on three core sections of it. Mm. And one section was, uh, why is our current economic model unsustainable? I gave people five reasons for that. I elaborate on money very much. Uh, the second part of the section was, um, what are the tools for a change? What is necessary for a change? Um, what needs to be done, um, the best that science and technology has to offer. I was talking about empathy um, as, a, as a tool also that we need and the value change of course to use technology in a sustainable way. Um, and the third core section was actually the principles of our activism within TZM. Um, what are the principles, what were they? Uh, it's like that we st need to stay non-violent, we need to discover humor in our activism, um, we need to be show persistence 
I brought an example of a guy who was, who was very, who found out that he's actually going to die and the doctor diagnosed him to die. Um, so he needed to change his ways. He went to the gym and was very emotional driven, but he hurts his back. So um, the key was uh, persistence, discover persistence in what you're doing. Um, yeah, and that's also, these are some principles that we needed to discover or needed to talk about in, the, in our activism sphere as well. And that was actually these three core parts. Don't pay attention to this stuff, but before 1800, this was much higher. It was like 50 or 60 or 70 percent. Like, think about your grandparents. They had my grandparents. And finally, Gilbert Ismail with the Global Chapters update and the website. <laughs>like ridiculously well I'm actually really amazed with the um, I mean not not surprised at all because uh, we had such incredible presenters that have joined us here from all around the world um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy to be part of uh, something like this where we've got all of these incredible presenters so I think it's gone really significantly well so far. Today basically we spoke about uh, the problems with the current system starting off with talking about uh, the psychopath economy and the contradictions of capitalism which were uh, which were by Cameron Riley and uh, Rich Penny and then we moved on into some kind of more abstract kind of solutions talking about uh, consciousness shift uh, whether that is uh, individually or collectively and then talking about technologies like the blockchain that could potentially help us in the future and then uh, then moving on to exploring exponential empathy um, and 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 technology and then uh, and then we finished off with a panel so this was kind of what we were exploring today and the concept for tomorrow is more talking about uh, re really like a specific solutions focus so first of all we're going to have Jason Lord who's going to talk about defining root causes within the current paradigm that we're living in and then we're going to move into Peter Joseph's Q&A session so people have the opportunity to connect with Peter Joseph um, and, and talk to him about his latest work and, and uh, where he thinks the movement's going and then we'll feed into talking about um, resource-based economies so another New Zealand presenter is going to be presenting at Global uh, named Richard Osmussen and, and he'll be presenting um, about what, what the Money Free Party is doing in New Zealand and that will be followed by um, transition ideas from uh, the Sydney coordinator and the Adelaide coordinator as well so it's kind of like creating this narrative right of like these are the problems these are kind of the abstract ideas and these are kind of like the uh, concrete solutions that we can start working towards and you can kind of engage yourself anywhere in that that you like so this is kind of like the narrative we're trying to create over the whole weekend uh, what can we do for those people who are just waking up and um, like I was saying today in the panel I think the people who are just waking up are in this really difficult state where they're really disenfranchised and it's a grieving process. It's the same process that you experience um, when, you ex when you experience a death in, in your life and all of a sudden everything in your, in your life changes. And this can be met with depression, anxiety, it can be met with anger as well. Um, so those people who are just waking up I guess I'd like to express to you that we've all been there and that, and that all of us have had that shocking awakening experience where we all of a sudden understood that this paradigm that we're, that we're living in has all of these really, really difficult issues and maybe the life that you were living doesn't really seem in line with your actual uh, values so it becomes really hard to live that way. But I would say that even though it's hard right now, it will in the long term make your life much better because you'll be more authentic and more open and you will have a more meaningful kind of existence so hang in there and hang out with other zeitgeists if you can because this is the support network for the disenfranchised